Did you immediately start out showing your own dogs, or did you actually handle when you were young? <laughs> Handled when I was young. I would grab anything. Uh, there was a young blue dog that was from out of Agnes's line, and I again, I couldn't have been more than 16, 17 at the most. Uh, Shady Lane Blue Boy was his name, and uh, this dog was just outstanding, and as a kid, uh, Mrs. Long had come to the San Diego shows at Del Mar Racetrack, and I won the big five-point major, and I was this kid, and that's how good this dog was. So, yeah, I handled him, and at the time, uh, at that point, there was no organized juniors. And so, I would grab any dogs and run in the rain. Uh, at that time, we had a bunch of handlers, and they would say, switch off and stuff. Well, at that point, uh, Lee Runnels was a junior, too. I, I must say, a few years older than I. <laughs> <laughs> Lee will appreciate Sorry, it. Sorry, I know. She'll get me later. But the thing is, is she was such a phenomenal handler. And uh, she and I battled with that a lot of times and different breeds. It was a fun time. Nothing organized. But, boy, you learned to go from, like, a collie to a bulldog to a shepherd. It was fun. Uh, not, Of course, now it's much more structured. And, and, of course, we're in an era of litigation that everyone has to protect themselves. But that's how I grew up. So, yes, I handled quite a bit. I'm going to add something here that we had talked about yesterday. But... Um, Frankly, there is no better handler in our sport than Cindy. If you go to our Collie and National, she wants something. No, not. <laughs> I'll ask for payment later. <laughs> but the truth of the matter exactly. is, if you stand in our right. national and watch, there are handlers that I don't want to be rude. Um, it's <laughs> oh, look at ahead. me and look at the dog. Right. And um, the truth of the matter is, the handlers that really are fantastic out there you don't even notice they're standing and next to the dog a good it's, you don't see them you, you see, see the dog the dog and i have made the comment before that cindy has a knack with the animals they don't have to know her she doesn't have to have a relationship or rapport with them she gets on the end of the lead and they want to perform for her and they want her attention and it's like their best virtues she knows how to bring out but you don't notice cindy in the ring showboating standing out in the middle of the ring with the dog back here or doing any of that mm -hmm. and we have some older handlers in our breed who are just phenomenal at that it's it's a soft presentation right they stand back and they really make their dog stand oh, out yes. but cindy christy repper um alice they all won best junior handler when they were younger. I'm actually the only one in the family who didn't because I didn't get to keep working in juniors because I couldn't keep my grades up. But whether the skills came from junior handling and the early involvement in that, or frankly, I think Cindy just has a personality the dogs are drawn to. She has a knack. Yeah, you do. And we all have our nap. We well, all have our things. I do, but I also, I, I didn't continue on with school after I graduated and that. Big mistake on my part. But... I can gladly say at 52, I earned my AS degree this year. <laughs> That's exciting for me. But um, I worked for handlers as well. I worked for uh, Gary Zayak and Sheree Zayak, who bred and showed English Springers. Mm -hmm. And he was an Aubrey handler, and they had a grooming shop here in Auburn. I used to work for them. I used to work for Ali Sr., who carried every kind of working breed and unsporting breed. So I was involved in it a lot more than Jennifer yeah, ever had the right. opportunity to be. I learned a lot. A lot of my grooming I learned from Gary and Cherie. I worked in the grooming shop with them. I mean, Gary was a master. And so, yes, I have the knack for it. I have you lost plenty of time to work, yes, too. Yes, yeah. And I've yeah. learned Sweat equity along I the like way. That. So, yeah. 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 But uh, I will reiterate, she also will continue on. Cindy's our handler. She's the breeder. She really is engaged with the breeding aspect, more so than my daughter. Well, okay, but <laughs> hold on a minute. So back when mm -hmm. I was doing some breedings, but let me tell you, if anything could go wrong, 
any she had any a silly head around the back let did. me tell you something went yes. wrong so, yes. so not only that i didn't look. have the time and right. you had kids you and had working kids. Full or the finances time. or the and honestly the handling part is my passion the right. breeding part well, you're very is good at their it. Let's passion admit it. yeah so i've done my own share of breeding and have come up with some nice dogs. I would say so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think it's a family too. up there. Really. It really is. It is. We all kind of have our little bit of our niche. Well, you're out there with the dogs, seeing the dogs, watching the dogs, and you've got that. If you've had your hands on them and you're living with them, you've got that information that you could use as mm -hmm. a breeder. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the nice things of judging. You know, one of the hardest parts of being a handler, too, is because. I will do the right thing. I will not, if I have a couple of dogs, a string of dogs, yeah. and I know this dog is going to win, but my commitment is to this dog, I will stick with my commitment. I won't take the dog in the ring that's going to be the winner. If I have a dedicated client to me, and I've been showing a dog all year, or, yeah, I may... It's about... Have, it, 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 it's about... Relationship. Correct. Yeah. And I had a judge tell me, had you stayed on that one, you would have won. Well, you know what? That's not the right thing to do. That wasn't at the time. Um, yeah, but a no. lot of your all breed handlers, they reserve that right to, oh, yeah. have to shuffle it. Yeah, because that's how. I'm not talking all breed. I'm talking I, I know, honey. I, I applaud you for it, but I said, I know but some of all breed handlers don't do that. And doing the right <laughs> thing isn't always fun. Right. Um, but also, I, I handle for, and I have handled for a lot of judges. Mm -hmm. or a lot of personal friends that are judges. And, I mean, I went how many years not showing at a national? Because to this day, I will not walk in Mary Wells' ring. There's too much history with cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, no good is going to come out of that, yeah. right. for me or for her. Right. It puts um, her in a difficult position. And then, and then I have my clients over here, oh, Cindy. I'm like, well, you know, I can't. No. Ethically, it's... And it's a dog show. At the end of the day, it's a dog show. Right. There's always more down the road. Well, I applaud you for that. That's difficult, but, you know, it's good for you. It's good for the breed, too. You well, know. and you know, the other thing about handling, because I haven't done it on the scale that Cindy has, but I've handled here and there for dogs that I like or people I like along the way. Mm -hmm. You end up having to sacrifice your own dog because you made a commitment to stay on somebody else's dog. And, um, in fact, yes, I get told that a lot. <laughs> she said, I want you. I said, I can't, mom. I've yeah, already committed. I did. Cindy, I don't want you to our dog. dog. I said, I'm sorry. You know, you are eating rock and you're taking <laughs> money and showing a client's dog that's not eating rock. This isn't right. I guess you should have picked up the phone a little sooner. <laughs> I should have paid her, I guess. I don't <laughs> pay her off. Yeah. So, so and you know, for me, um, I moved home last year to help out with some things, and I can't handle dogs anymore because of that. Oh, yeah. So I don't have to worry about it. Um, I only show our dogs now, and sometimes that means I go with less dogs, and it's a much easier weekend. Um, but, you know, when you do handle, I know there's times where Cindy's had one of our dogs that she truly mm -hmm. loves that she's had to hand off to go into winners because she made a commitment to stay on somebody's right. dog. That's got to be tough, but... Yeah. It is yeah, but that's good. also only right for someone that's put a lot of right. money into Correct. you that yeah, they deserve absolutely. the priority. Exactly. Yeah, and that isn't it easy, especially when you know that that's not that judge's type of dog. Mm -hmm. so, so. But you have to do the right thing. Yeah. Well, and, and the dog, the blue dog she was talking about. Are you pulling me? <laughs> <laughs> The blue dog she was talking about, the losing to Shania for a couple months, is owned by a close friend of ours. And, you know, she'll come over to me and, and I'm tired of losing to you, but I love her. <laughs> and, and, you know, it just happens. But these are compliment. dog shows. And when you love the handler or love the people or are good enough friends, the truth is, is at the end of the day, you don't get upset about it. It's just a dog but show. But how it's often do you come up with a dog that's in full bloom, mm -hmm. really top quality, not that often, and it's such a joy to go out there and yes, it was. have everyone, <laughs> just literally yeah. everyone, yes, it was. Uh, just wow. And Even you know, some judges that I would have questioned whether she was really going to be their cup of tea, um, it was. It kind of just hit at the right time. So. Yeah. Very fortunate. Timing is everything. Timing is yeah. everything. 